Hello, and welcome to another GibbsCam Tech Tip. Form tools are sometimes a necessary part of programming when you are using unconventional tools. Recent enhancements made to GibbsCam make creating, using, and simulating these tools better than ever. Today, I'm going to show you how to import a DXF, make a 2D form tool from it, and use it in a contour operation. So the first thing we want to do is go to File Import. I want to select my DXF. DXFs are drawing file formats that only use two dimensions, X and Y. You can typically download these from the manufacturer's website for precisely this reason. And so once I import this here, it actually comes in gray. And uh, the reason for that is it's making a work group for our DXF layer. You can see that when I open my work group menu here. And when I select a DXF work group, it, uh, it turns blue here, right? So there are three rules that your tool geometry needs to follow for 2D form tool creation to work. Uh, the first rule is that it needs to be in the XY plane. I think when, uh, when you import things uh, from drawing files, they typically come in the XY plane, so this isn't too much of an issue. However, it is still necessary for this to work. Uh, the second rule is the, the tip of our tool here must be at 0, 0, 0 of our original coordinate system. So how we do that is we just double click this to chain select it and we can go to modify absolute translate and I'm going to click in here and I'm going to hold down alt and shift on my keyboard. So when I, I do that it turns to a square and what we're doing is we're grabbing values from the model to put into this dialog box. So alt and shift on the tip of our tool and it fills in the XYZ coordinates, uh, coordinates of a uh, um, our tool, right? And I want to move it to zero, zero, zero. So I hit do it and we see that it jumps right over. So now uh, I still have my tool highlighted, my geometry highlighted rather. We can double click on a blank tool tile and 2D form tool is down here at the bottom. And then I want to come over here and hit apply and you'll see it load in here, not only up here, but down here. We can select a holder. We can tell it how far out of the holder it is all the things we can do with normal tools. So that's all standard behavior. So that's how we create our 2D form tool. Let's make a quick operation with it. So I'm going to jump off of that work group here to our back to our original work group and close out that menu. Let's drag this down and make a contour. And I'm not gonna dwell too much on this. Um, I just want you to see our tool in action. Start off our part. So recent enhancements to simulation allow GibCam to accurately simulate all kinds of form tools now, even in multitask machining and five axis machining environments. So um, that really takes our form tools up a notch here in terms of usability, viability. 2D form tools can sometimes be powerful allies when trying to machine difficult features. Now that simulation of these tools has been enhanced, using these is an integral part of many programmers' routines. I hope that this tech tip has helped you see that form tool creation can be quick and easy and that it is not something that needs to be shied away from. If you have any questions, please reach out to your local GibbsCam reseller.